Have you noticed that people who wake up angry most of the time can never be wealthy? Notice if you're that person, you can never be wealthy. Because every time the sun rises on you, your spirit is already corrupted from the graces that are available to your advantage. Every time the sun rises, do you know why he tells you do not let the sun go down on your wrath? By the time it gets to evening, your spirit should be reconciled to the divine. Because joy is to come in there. You watch people who are usually hot-tempered in the morning every morning. These are the most struggling people I know in life. More suicidal. But they're usually under attack. It's in the mornings that they meditate. Either they wake up at 3 a.m., 5 a.m., or 7, 8 there. That's when they reflect on how they are failing, what's wrong with them, how they hate everything. You know, you, you're always waking up to that energy every morning. Every morning. The Bible says the broken spirit no man can bear. Nobody can hate, can, can help, can aid, can succor. S-U-C-C-O-R. A broken spirit. Nobody can help you. No prayer can help you. The Bible says with joy you shall draw from the wells of salvation. There's a reason why God gave you joy as a mark. When the Bible says they shall go out with joy. They shall go out with joy. And they shall be led by peace. Going out. What do you mean by going out? What does it mean to go out with joy? They shall go out with joy. Isaiah 55 verses 12. They shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. Go out. You know when the prophet is praying and he says for um, a young man who knoweth not how to go in or go out. Was it who? Huh? Job. Was it Job? Solomon, yes. He said, for I am a young man who knows not how to go in or how to go out. This is access. To go out are doors of opportunity. I don't know how to connect to the realms of opportunities. That was, that's what it means to go out. To go in are doors of access. To receive revelation or insight. And all the graces that are available for me to function through the doors that I'm able to open. Spiritual doors spiritual windows now if that person carries no joy they they don't if you don't carry the joy of the spirit means you don't know how to go out you don't know how to cultivate the opportunities that are available to you through what you're able to receive through revelation for it to be applicable and translated in the world of men you look at people who usually wake up that way if regular and study their financial life most of the things in their lives are dimmed and the more angry they become you get it until some become suicidal they hate themselves they hate the world they're in their excitement is one, it just comes every now and then. But they wake up to disappointment. When you overcome that, you will learn to go out. <laughs> you learn to go out. Every day will be another gate of opportunity for you. Every day will be another gate of opportunity for you you'll be led by peace you won't live an anxious life anybody under the place of peace is a person led by the Holy Ghost are you following me child of God is a person led by the Holy Ghost so some spirits feed other spirits they feed other spirits so but somebody might not know that that waking up when you're under that kind of feeling you're under attack 
And instead of getting mad at everyone, you're supposed to address it. You wake up and you're feeling that heavy, that dump. You say, in the name of Jesus, God has given me the spirit of joy. In the name of Jesus Christ, I come out of this quagmire of confusion. God has not given me the spirit of, of fear. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach the gospel, to do good. He's turning my morning into dancing. This is who I am. I refuse that place, that spirit that holds me into frustration, into anger, into worry, into anxiety. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bind it. I receive the joy of the Lord. Whatever the enemy is plotting against me, I cancel it. Whatever it is that the enemy is setting before me, right now I set it ablaze by the fire of the Holy Ghost. You start your day. Because some of you, you notice, if you keep that way, bad news will come or might come. Then somebody says, you know, I've been feeling funny the whole morning. Ah, what did you do about it? Ah, for me, it's the sign that something wrong is going to happen. Well, 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 sister, change it. change it you should wake up with a garment of praise the oil of gladness in your spirit that's what the bible says it's the oil of gladness this anointing is supposed to gladden your heart he says in isaiah 61 verses 3 he came to appoint to them that mourn in zion to give them beautiful ashes and the oil of joy for their oil of joy for them that means in the morning you're supposed to be what come on tell somebody you're supposed to be what and the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the trees of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified have i made sense the oil of joy in the morning you must wake up with joy are you following? 